Hey everybody, um, I was looking all over YouTube, couldn't find a video, so I decided to make one. Um, this is for the instrument panel on your Tacoma. Um, 2005 to 2015 is about all the same. There's few differences. I did 2013 the other day. Very few differences. Alright, so here's some of the tools you're going to want to have, well you're going to need. A uh, 10 millimeter socket, a little wrench. Um, you're going to want some needle nose pliers to hold your uh, little lights while you solder them together, pick them up and stuff. And then uh, get a small little flathead or something to pry with. Um, you're going to need it to take out the uh, odometer. And then you're going to want probably a stubby Phillips for above that steering wheel, those two screws. And then, of course, you want your solder gun. Um, I got mine at Home Depot. It wasn't too bad. It was pretty cheap. Um, your solder, you want it circuit board rated um, so you don't fry nothing. And then uh, up here, you'll see whiteout. That's the stuff I use on the back of the needles. Um, it's it's what I use. You can use nail polish. You could you could use anything that goes on the back marker. It might fade in the sun though. Um, these are the lights. This is what they come like. You have to take them out of the little black package. Um, these are the tools. Let's start ribbing it apart. All right, here's the taco we're looking at today. Um, I think it's a 2005. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Anyways, um, looking at this orange, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna make a couple differences in it. I'm gonna change it blue and white. Um, I love it to death. It's my favorite mod. Um, up here is some screws you, you're you going to have to take out. These are Phillips. If you have a newer model, it's going to be a circle with a hole in the middle. You just press that in, and uh, they'll pop right out. It's not very hard. Um, once you get those popped out, you come down here. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket, and then you just undo this little guy. There should be one on the other side. I, I don't know if it's with all models. Anyways, after that, you just pop the dash straight out. It just comes all out. pops pretty easy. All right, guys. we got all these bolts out. We're going to pull it all out. You just pop it straight out. That's all there is to it. And then you're going to pop the other side out. The bottom you just pop out so that the top can pop out just fine. I don't know why this isn't on there. So. Okay. Bottom you just pop out so the top will come. Not too big, big of a deal. And this will pop out. And then this top part you might want to have a little screwdriver to pry with. Kind of pull it down. That guy just pops straight down. And your little black, your Phillips stills, they're gonna fall out. Put them down with the rest of your screws. And then uh, just keep prying on it, working it until, until it comes straight out. And then you're gonna have your fog lights and your dimmer. So you gotta, un you gotta pull it out. So uh, we'll do that, see where we get to. All right, we're gonna pull this guy out. Not very hard at all. Make sure you pop this other one in the corner. I don't know why it's having such issues. Pop it out all the way. Oh, there we go. You just gotta pop it real good. And then you're gonna have windshield wipers going off and everything. And then just pull that guy straight out. Okay, once this is kind of pulled apart, you're gonna have four screws. Just a Phillips is all on each corner of the uh, instrument panel. You're just going to pull those guys out, screw them right out, and then uh, in the top, you've got two sets of wires you got to disconnect. One over here, and then there's going to be one about right in here in the back. Just disconnect those, and it'll come all the way out. We pulled out the uh, four screws. We also disconnected the wiring harnesses. So now you just pull it out. I'll show you what the wiring harnesses look like so that you kind of know how to take them apart. You just use your thumb and you pull, you push in the middle. Right in there you can kind of tell. Um, you just press it right in the middle uh, and then it pulls up, takes some effort sometimes. They're stuck in there pretty good. So uh, we got that McHeffer out. Let's go take it to the table and pull it apart and see what it looks like. That's right, you've seen it here. It's out of the truck. That freaking sucks getting it out, but uh, it's right here. So uh, let's look at it. First you see tabs. You gotta, uh, you gotta come around to the back side and there's three screws you gotta undo. And then uh, you get those undone and then you can start pulling. Take your nifty little uh, little Phillips, undo these suckers, one McHeffer, two McHeffers, and three McHeffers. <laughs> then, you just pop these little tabs, there's two right there I can see. I think that's everything for this little guy, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna come out yet. There you go, cheers. Okay, that comes off. Now you got the back of the motherboard, you're gonna be working with this sucker. All right, if any of you wanna take off the, the beeper, like your door opens, it beeps, all that crap, this is it. Not very hard, this customer doesn't wanna take it off, but uh, if you want to, just take some channel locks, pair of pliers, whatever, grab it and just twist back and forth. Just real gentle, it'll pop off. Super easy, doesn't affect anything. I did it on my truck, been running it for six months now. Just fine, hasn't hurt nothing. So if you want to do it, not too big of a deal. But uh, now that we got that popped open, you gotta pop the front apart to take all this stuff out. So uh, you gotta pop off every one of these tabs. They all just come right out. 
work with one side first, it's kind of easier, work your way across the board. But uh, the white and the black gotta pop out. So you just push them down and push them out. Kind of challenging. Let's see here. If you need to go get a screwdriver, something to fry with, kind of push them out. Works a lot better sometimes. Let's see here. Okay, so that side, be sure not to scratch up your screen and everything. Now this stuff, I'm not sure how you clean it if you get fingerprints on it. So don't let your fingers touch it very much. But uh, what you're gonna wanna do now is take a picture of your needles so you know what position they're in. So when you reset them, you know where to put them. Because your, your fuel gauge and your temperature gauge are a little below what you would think the zero line is. So you just wanna be sure of that. The best way I found is you take a butter knife so you don't get your fingerprints all over everything. Just plastic, metal butter knife, whatever works. Stick it underneath one of these needles and then just pry at the, twist your butter knife and they pop right out. Super easy. Just pop them down and then pry a little bit. Make sure it's not sharp. Don't put a hole in your this black piece here. But uh, you just want to pop all your needles off. Try not to get them very dirty either. You have to clean it all off. Once you get the needles popped off, um, take it from the sides. You've got three little prongs holding this black thing into place. So you want to take the bottom off, kind of pop it all off. It'll come off. It's super easy. Kind of fragile. Put that off the side. Don't let it get touched. Now, you got your odometer right here, the reader. What you want to do is get a little tiny screwdriver, something, something real small, flathead, and uh, pop it underneath this thing and kind of pry at it. You guys are going to think I'm crazy for doing this. You pry, it pulls out. All these little prongs are sticking in the holes. Just got to pop them out. I'm gonna pull out. Super fragile. Don't let it. Uh, don't let this thing get stepped on, smash any of that. You don't want to mess with that. Stick that out to the side. Now, uh, now once once that's all off, now you can pull out this plastic piece, this trim piece. Don't let this thing break or anything. Be real careful with it. But uh, all you gotta do for that is there's little tabs. One right there, one right there, and there and there. Pull these tabs up and kind of pull on the motherboard. Deal. I don't know what to call it. That's what I'm gonna call it. Pull on it. And it'll just pop straight out. Set that white piece to the side. Now you got this. This is where you're gonna be doing all your work. So <clears throat> for this guy, what you're gonna you're gonna see a bunch of crap. Don't worry about everything, just worry about the little LEDs. Right in here, these are your LEDs you're gonna be replacing, this kind of stuff. I don't know if you can see with the camera. Anyways, the two outside LEDs you see right here, those guys do your RPM, uh, they do the numbers. And then on the inside, these two guys do your needles. So when you change that out, just think about it before you change them so you know what color you want. <clears throat> um, down here you can see a bunch of lights. Look on this black piece right here. When it's off, the sun shines through it, and uh, you can see what's going on with all those. Like you can see on here, shows you everything that's going on. So just kind of set it up to it. It's not hard, just stick the needles through the holes. You're gonna set it up and uh, it'll show you kind of what's going on. You know, you just pop it together. It'll show you which ones you're replacing. So uh, these three are your odometer lights. These are your blinkers. All right, um, solder gun's all ready to go. It's not too bad. Don't be scared of doing this. It's, it's really not very hard. Take your solder gun. You probably want a pretty hot one. Make sure the tip's pretty clean. You probably gonna want a wet rag if you're doing this. And then uh, take your tweezers, needle nose, work too. Take these guys, hold one end and heat it up. Just hold it on there for a second. If it doesn't work, take it off because you don't want to melt nothing. And uh, it'll heat up, let's see here, back and forth and then pry it up. And how I do it, I just move along to the next ones. I keep prying them up, and then uh, you, you gotta pry up one side at a time, basically. So then I'm gonna flip it so it's nice and easy. And then uh, after it's flipped, I just pry the other side, and it comes right off. Just set it to the side, grab the next one. Right now we're doing the odometer, and uh, we're gonna put some blue lights on, make it look rad. So there's that. Jeez, that flick. So once you got uh, once you got the LEDs off, you're gonna uh, just touch it with the solder gun just for a second. Melt them all, kind of make the pool even, no big lumps in the middle or whatever. And uh, make it real nice and even. So when you set the new light on, it just sets right on nice and flat, and then you can solder it. So now that we got that, we're going to uh, grab your, uh, grab the color you want. We're doing blue for the odometer. And uh, grab out the amount of lights you want. Now here's the deal. On these, on these, uh, these new lights, these new LEDs, a corner looks like it's chipped out. And I don't know how close the camera can get to kind of show you, but uh, the corner that's chipped out on these LEDs, there's going to be a white dot on one of the corners where the old LED was. You need to line up that chipped part with the white dot. These things are, uh, you got to have the positive and the negative on the right side. So uh, line that up, and then you want to hold the LED on best you can, straight and perfect. And then uh, once you got it held, I, I just use the solder that's already on. Touch it for a second, and it'll melt the LED in place. Now it's stuck in place. And then I'll grab the next one, pop it in, heat it up for a second, and then it sticks. And you're good to go for a minute. And then we got to grab the solder and go at it. But uh, they're real bugger if they pop upside down, you gotta drop them a couple times so they work. So just grab that, um, grab the LEDs, place them in the right spot, you can heat it up and move them if they're not moved right. Now the side that you just heated up and stuck them with, you don't want to touch that with the solder gun. You want to flip it all the way around again, and then take your solder, make sure it's circuit board solder, because that's what you need for this stuff. The other solder can hurt the circuit board. And uh, take your gun here, heat it up a little bit. How I do it, I mean everybody's different at this stuff. I heat it up for a sec, and then I touch the solder, and it'll go right onto the right onto the bolt, and then uh, on the LED. Do that on all of them. And then you're gonna flip it around and do the side you first started with. Make sure it's a good clean solder. When you're hitting bumps and stuff, you don't want these lights to go out. Um, with these lights, if one of them doesn't make a good connection, most likely all three of them won't work. 
So if you're doing this and none of them are working, it's because one of them's got a bad connection you need to fix. So as you're doing this, now that I got those three done, you want to take it over to the truck and just test it. However many you want to do and then test them. And uh, so let's go see if they work or not. Just got done soldering this guy. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug this guy in a little bit. You can do it in all the way. I don't like to because then it's hard to take back off. Once you do that, you'll see your door open light turns on. Now take your lights and turn them on halfway and you'll see if they light up or not. In this case, worked out just fine. They're working great. So we'll take it back and uh, we'll solder the rest, check them out, make sure they're good, and then we'll start throwing it back together. Okay guys, we got all the needles here. Um, if I like to do it with a knife, I don't know, however you want to do it. It's orange right now, and you got to take that orange off so you can put white out on the back so that the light that you put on the needles shines off the white and makes it a blue or a red needle or whatever color you did. So in this case, we're doing white needles. I've done blue in the past and I still use white out. But what you're going to want to do is take your knife, go at an angle just like this, and just scrape. Just go at it. And uh, it'll take you a couple minutes, but it'll scrape off and you'll see there's a white layer and then you get down to the orange. So, not a big deal. You just scrape at it. And uh, you want to make sure you get rid of all the orange. If there's even a little dot, you'll see it when you white out over it. So, make sure it's all all worn off. And uh, and then when you get to the inside right here, um, you don't have to scrape all of it off. You want to scrape at least to the, the inside of this black housing so that you can't see any orange. But uh, <clears throat> all the lights are good on this. Test them all, plugged it in. All the lights lit up. We went through, turned on the four-wheel drive, made sure all that worked. So now we're just going to throw it back together. First, take your white piece, you it off, and uh, you're going to flip it around. So you can see what you're doing. Kind of pop it in so that uh, you got to put the needles in the holes. And then these clips will line up. And this side, these side uh, pins will go in the hole. And then these clips will line up. And then you pop the bottom clips back on. And then flip it back around. Grab your odometer. Pop it down in. Make sure, make sure it lines up with the holes. Grab your screwdriver you pull it out with. Pry that sucker back in. Make sure it's in there real good. And uh, I would only push on these metal, metal pins if I were you just so you don't break the screen or anything. And uh, next, you've got your black piece. shows all, all um, what the lights mean. Pop these guys right down in. You gotta make sure it goes under these three little hooks there, so hold it into place. Um, then, then we've got uh, the clear piece you gotta put on with the giant black piece. So uh, let me go grab that. So we've been working with these needles for a little bit now. Um, you just gotta plug it in, take it out. When you plug this in, it resets your needles. And then when you pull it out, your needles go wherever you, you put them with your fingers. Um, basically, though, what I figured out, when you press it in, it drops just a little bit when you plug it back in. So when you press it in, press them just a little bit above where they need to actually be. Like, tiny bit, like an eighth, if that. And uh, then when you plug it back in, it'll reset them to where they need to be. Um, we've been fighting it for a little bit. We finally got it. So they're all where they need to be now. So uh, we're going to start throwing together all the plastic, and then we're going to start screwing them, all, screwing them all on. Um, we'll video it for you so you can see how it's kind of done. Okay, it's in the truck. I'm going to turn the key and then it should move the gauges. And then see where your gas was before, see if that's about the right spot. But uh, if they're in the right spot, push them in all the way. And then we'll put the uh, the black shade type deal and then the clear piece over the front. And we'll start throwing it back in the truck. But it looks real clean right here. Heck yeah. That's rad. Now you're just going um, to put all four screws back in the holes. We already plugged in the two um, the two connectors. Check it all out. All checks out good. Everything's lined up. The needles are all good. Um, make sure your odometer is back in there. That sucks if it's not, because then you're going to take it all apart. But uh, put these screws in, and then uh, and then put your um, the black piece back in. It goes around the gauges. And uh, after that's in, you just gotta you got to make sure you plug in your um, fog lights again and your adjuster. And uh, these adjust. These LEDs fully adjust, so this will still work. And uh, yeah, we'll get to that point. All right, everything's back into place. Um, this top part right here, when you put it back together, um, put leave these out a little bit, push it up, and then push everything in, and it will uh, it'll go in real good. And then pop your top screws in, and then put your number ten back in. I'm about to do it. And then this piece just pops back into that clip, and that clip down there. So you pop those in. 
came out real smooth. He chose blue and white. So when you turn it on, it looks real good. But uh, that's my video. Like it and share it to everyone you know.